If you've been following along, a little over two weeks ago, we launched UTELSAT Hotbird 13F, which was one of two new large satellites going to space to replace three existing satellites at its Hotbird flag flagship neighborhood at 13 degrees east. Today we are launching the second of the new satellites, UTELSAT Hotbird 13G. Now let's learn a bit more about UTELSAT, their partners, and the payload on board tonight. Bird 13F was designed and built by Airbus. It has a twin, Hotbird 13G, also built by Airbus and launched one month later. The twin satellites will replace three previous satellites from UTELSAT's fleet. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Ignition and lift off of Utelsat Hopper 13G Go Falcon 9. Nominal first stage chamber pressures. Vehicle is pitching down range. has successfully lifted off from Pad 40 at Cape Canaveral Space Power Force Station, nominal. carrying UTELSAT Hotbird 13G satellite. Now, during ascent, the M1D engines will actually swivel and help steer Falcon 9, and this is known as gimbal. The rocket autonomously tilts the Vehicle engines. supersonic. The rocket autonomously tilts the engines just a few degrees, and this gimbling allows the vehicle to perform a gravity turn, which is when we are going vertical, but also going horizontal, and you can kind of see that on your screen there. Max Q. Great call out. We've just passed through Max Q. That is the largest structural load that the vehicle sees on ascent. After we pass through Max Q, we can now begin to throttle up the nine M1D engines on stage one. And in just about a minute, we'll have three events happening back to back. The first will be Miko stage separation and then SES-1, which is second stage engine start one. Got some really cool views. I'm back, showing in. Really cool views of those nine M1D engines on the first stage. Now Miko is main engine cutoff, and that's where all nine of those engines will shut down. That prepares the vehicle for stage separation. Then stage one can make its way back down to Earth, while stage two continues with SES-1, or second stage engine start one. That's where, where we will ignite that MVAC engine on the second stage for the first time for this mission. Again, coming up here in just 
a few seconds, we, we will have MECO stage separation and SES-1. MECO. Stage separation confirmed. And there we could see Miko stage separation on your right hand screen. That MVAC engine is lighting up there. Coming up next, we will have fairing separation. The fairing halves flying today are flight proven. One half flying for the fourth time and the other for a sixth time. And on your left hand screen is a view of the first stage. The grid pins have now deployed. Separation confirmed. And there you could see on your right hand screen the fairing halves being jettisoned. Now we will be attempting to retrieve these fairing halves again today once they fall back down to earth using our recovery ship, Bob. Stage one, entry burn, start up. And as you can see, your left-hand screen light up there. Those three engines have ignited. This entry burn will last about 25 seconds long. Stage one, entry burn, shut down. And that concludes the entry burn for the first stage. Now, for those that might not be familiar with why we land our rockets, reusability is key to lowering the cost of spaceflight, which enables more investments in critical science research. And the Falcon 9 first stage that is supporting today's mission performed this entry burn for the seventh time tonight, previously launching CRS-22, Crew-3, Turksat-5B, Crew-4, CRS-25, and one Starlink mission. Now, we're about 30 seconds away from the next couple of events. Next up will be SECO, SECO-1, which is second stage engine cutoff one. And that's when we shut down that MVAC engine on the second stage. Allow, transonic. And we allow that second stage to coast. And then shortly after... Stage C 2, FTS is saved. Shortly after SECO 1, we'll have the landing burn starting on the first stage. Seco. Stage one landing burn. There we've had Seco and stage one landing burn has begun. Let's watch as Falcon 9 touches down on just read the instructions. Landing leg deploy. Nominal orbit. Stage one landing confirmed. And great news there and a couple of great call outs. <laughs> Falcon 9 has touched down on just read the instructions. This landing marks SpaceX, uh, SpaceX's 152nd recovery of an overall class rocket, including first stage landings for Falcon 9 and Falcon Heavy. And we also heard SECO 1 and confirmation of good orbit. So now the mission isn't over just yet. The second stage is now embarking on its first coast phase. After the coast phase, we will light that MVAC engine for a second time around T plus 29 minutes. So we'll see you back here in about 20 minutes. In the meantime, sit back, relax, and enjoy some space tunes. Payload separation confirmed. An incredible view there with the Earth in the background. The UTELSAT 
Hot Bird 13G satellite drifting away from Falcon 9's second stage. Great view. So with confirmation of successful... Acquisition is signal. Here you go, Garcia. With confirmation of successful deploy, payload deploy, we're going to end our launch broadcast. Acquisition signal, Maldives. We're going to end our launch broadcast for tonight.